Happy Sunday, everybody. Yes, I am here with you, and you are here with me, Kiara Voice, and we are joined you together on the most amazing, beautiful, super transformative Sunday. Yes, 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 yes. We have just ended a week with so much love, so much gratitude, and we are entering a new week with a fresh start, fresh new opportunities, a fresh beginning you know it is the springtime we are in here we are allowing ourselves to actually bear witness to all of the seeds that have been sprouted all around the land actually becoming and taking form and blossoming and showing us what it is that they have been nurturing themselves to give right and when we're looking at flowers and we're thinking about plants you know these things they just show up right they show up as beauty as reflections of something so magnificent that came out of something so small and for me whenever i think about flowers and i think about how they bloom and they blossom and then they die to bloom and blossom again maybe even more vibrant than before maybe even more stronger than before maybe even more vast than before because they're able to know exactly what it is that they need and utilize from the land and all of the nutrients in order to fuel themselves to regenerate again, right? And this week, man, I don't know, my heart was just throbbing a lot with showing up, right? I was a little emotional this week and I was like, oh, I want people to show up for me like I show up for them. And then I realized how sometimes my fear of not receiving the same love I give out stops me from giving fully to the person I'm looking to receive fully from. And then I remember that we must show up for each other exactly the way that we intend for others to show up for us. And that doesn't mean that everybody is going to always reflect that and always give you what you're giving back, but it will allow you to be a good determinant of how and who you allow to access so much of you. Because what you have to give energetically is so precious. No matter what it is that you're doing or providing in the space, whenever you decide to show up fully for someone else, it's you allowing yourself to be a vessel of just pure energy for them to tap in so that they can continue to grow and blossom into who they're becoming. And in life, the way that cycles work, we know that that energy will regenerate and come back to us. And we have to allow ourselves to have the understanding that that person that we're sharing all of that energy with may not be the person that is also going to fill us back up. But if we allow ourselves to be open to receiving love, to receiving help, to receiving nourishment, to opening our voices to being vulnerable and saying exactly what it is that we need and what it is that we're requiring we will and we shall receive that back so instead of going into a mindset of feeling as though people are not showing up for me i had to change my mindset and i'm really continuously changing my mindset to remembering that it's all about showing up the way you would show up for others Continue to show up as the fullest version of yourself. Continue to be that giving nurturer that you are. Continuing to be that strength, that ambition, that focus, that drive that you are for others around you so that you can in turn show exactly what it is that you need reflected in the universe. And the universe will gift that back to you because it sees and it says, hey, Kiara, I see you. I see what you're giving. And I will be able to provide you that tenfold if you continue to allow yourself purely just to give from the heart. It's unconditional love. And we've learned love conditionally and we have to continuously undo that in our minds. And that's a process too. But this unconditional love, this ability to just give for giving's sake, <laughs> because you know that you can and because it feels good to be of service, to uplift others around you and see them float into their highest sense of self. So continue to do that and be that battery in somebody else's back because I will assure you that the universe will reflect that back to you and give you that tenfold. The universe is not gonna leave you stranded, but it is just testing your willpower and seeing if you are simply giving in order to receive or simply if you have entered into a state of being that giving is the only thing that allows you to feel alive. Float in that bliss. Love yourself so deeply that you have to show up as love for others. 
and have patience and understanding that not everybody will know exactly what it, you're doing or know how to receive what it is that you're giving or know how to reflect back exactly what you're giving and take grace with that and protect yourself. Do not overgive to those who cannot seem to give in to you at all. <laughs> For they will learn and understand what your gift was as soon as you get deeper into that realm within yourself and continue to give without resentment, without attachment, without need. I love you. I appreciate you. You mean the world, the moon, the stars, the entire Milky Way galaxy to me. And until next time. <laughs>